There are things in this package that I like and I know my caucus likes. But I think my overwhelming impression of this is one of disappointment. This does not even match what the governor was doing in terms of income tax relief for our residents. And I thought that was pretty stingy. We are living in a time where fortunately, as we sit on this committee, we are not figuring out how to raise huge amounts of money because we're in a hole. But we are dealing with a cup that runneth over. Based on this income tax relief, a married couple would see about $300 a year off their income tax, less than a dollar a day. Surely we can do better. As we fill our coffers and pay down pension debt, which is important, which is admirable, and which we committed to continue doing just a few months ago, surely we can find a way to put more money back in the pocket of our hardworking taxpayers, the middle class. I would like to see a more aggressive recapture I think that was one of the problems with the governor's bill, that there is no end at which higher income couples see this tax relief. If you're making high six figures, an extra $200 a year isn't going to make a difference, but by limiting this to lower levels, then we have that much more money to put in the pockets of the people who desperately need it. Coming out of the pandemic, dealing with issues on a day-to-day -day basis, not only challenges with mental health, physical health, inflation, which is still very high. Surely on this committee, we can find a way to put more money back in their pockets. And my other disappointment relates to something I think violates an agreement we made a couple of months ago. And that is what appear to me to be revenue intercepts. That trick which, because we take the money before it goes into the designated fund for which it is intended, basically allows us to do whatever we want. We saw that years ago with special transportation fund dollars. We have seen that happen with other funds. And yet here we see money, money from the surplus in 23 and 24 up to $300 million that is moved before it gets into that budget reserve fund to create a new fund. Now one may not argue with the intended destination of this money I have the issue with how it is accomplished and that we are basically bypassing that statutory requirement that we set in place for another five years. If these are priorities, if this is important, one, that is the job of the Appropriations Committee to allocate those funds, to fill in that pilot hole. If that's a budget priority, because budgets are about priorities, then that's how you go about this. And doing it in this way, which as I say, in my belief, and I believe in the belief of my caucus, and I may get some sympathy in the executive branch, that this is not the way to go about directing funds where they may very well be needed, they may very well have a valid use, but this is not how we do it. So I want to thank everyone for their hard work on this budget. I know how many hours have gone into a revenue package, but for the reasons I've stated, because it does not go far enough, indeed does not even go as far as the governor in terms of income tax relief for our middle class residents, and because it violates an agreement we just made to extend these fiscal guardrails for another five years, I cannot support this revenue package.